This video demonstrates updated recommendations for proper donning and doffing of enhanced personal protective equipment for COVID-19 tracheostomy surgery. Note the standard sequence is modified in this case for a clean or clean contaminated procedure where sterile technique is necessary. First, start with putting on shoe covers, standard scrubs, and head cover. Next, you should place your respiratory protective gear. Currently at rush for COVID-19 tracheostomy, we are recommending the use of a powered air respiratory device. If not available, an N95 respirator should be used. Next, we will go through the steps for proper placement of the capper device. Note this is done prior to sterile gowning. This is different than non-sterile procedures. First, attach the belt to your waistline. The battery goes on your right side with the battery port facing backwards. Plug the battery cable into the battery until you hear a click. Initially, the unit should show five LEDs from left to right, one yellow, three green, and one red. After a few seconds, the lights should ideally show three green LEDs. Three green lights means 75 to 100% charge. Two green lights means 50 to 75% charge. One green light means 25 to 50% charge. One red light means zero to 25% charge. One yellow light means there is an issue with the filter or airflow. If at any time you see one yellow or red light, doff the system as soon as possible. Surgical procedures do not typically allow for a pause in care. Therefore, it is recommended that three green lights be available before starting the procedure. Next, loosen the headband adjustment knob. This will ensure the head circumference is large as possible. Next, attach the disposable lens cuff. Most people can use a medium to large size. A small to medium size is also available. Attach the lens cuff to the three mounting points on the helmet. Next, remove the protective film from the lens cuff. Next, don the helmet. Then locate the cuff and pull it around your face and around your chin. Run your fingers around the cuff to ensure slight tension. In the correct position, the head strap should be about a half inch above your eyebrows and you should be able to see the LED indicators in your peripheral vision. Tighten the headband to ensure a proper fit. Lastly, move the cable behind your back and not under your arm. Next, proceed to perform a standard scrubbing technique using either a standard alcohol-based solution or traditional scrub. First, don a pair of gloves that will go under your gown.
Next, place your surgical gown, either yourself or with the help of an assistant. Next, place a second set of surgical gloves as standard over the gown wrists. Lastly, do a check of your gear with a buddy. Check that the gown is not torn, gloves intact. Check that the helmet has three green LEDs and tucked well under the chin. Check that the shield is fixed to the three attachment points. After the surgery is completed and you have completed any work at the field or with disposing contaminated materials, proceed as follows. Walk away from the field near the trash at the door. Remove the surgical gown and top gloves and dispose carefully without removing in a vigorous fashion that would cause droplets to be released. Use your bottom gloves to remove your shoe covers or handle any additional material in the room. Next, remove your bottom gloves and wash your hands using a standard alcohol-based solution. Do not remove your respirator until leaving the room. After leaving the room, place a set of non-sterile gloves Remove the cap or shield and dispose or clean if a reusable shield was used. Remove this last set of gloves and remove the helmet and belt. Perform hand hygiene one last time.